Hello, this is Borna from Borna.tv and today I want to talk about Video LAN or the VLC media player. VLC is an open source cross-platform media player and uh, today a new version came out uh, 0.9.2 which offers some attractive improvements for those of us who watch a lot of videos on our computers. Now I mentioned that VLC was cross-platform and uh, it supports Mac OS 10, which I'm showing you now, and it supports Windows and it supports Linux. And it's built on top of a bunch of open source efforts uh, in order to bring us pretty much a carefree environment when it comes to video. A lot of times when we watch video on the web, we download a video, we have to worry about several codecs or several video formats, which are sometimes require extra software to be installed. The beauty of VLC is that there is very little if any software that needs to be installed in order to watch just about every kind of video out there t <coughs> Excuse me, today. And uh, today like I said VLC 0.9.2 came out and uh, they have a page on their wiki which gives you a, a, a pretty good overview of everything that's new in uh, 0.9.2 9.2 um, again it's for Linux, Unix and Windows Mac OS 10 and uh, video playback, new protocols, new codecs, new demuxers, muxers, muxers need help with that one, <laughs> mini bug fixes blah 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 but they also have a video down here this video was uh, I believe is on Vimeo and uh, you can play to get kind of a musical background of all the new features quick very quick walkthrough of everything that's in there. Now a summary here shows you <coughs> excuse me that the interface has uh, some improvements as well as the playlist, playback, filters and other stuff. So go to this site it's at wiki.videoland.org slash what is cool in 0 0.9 and that uh, you can get a quick overview. So let me just show you some of the stuff that I was impressed with. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna launch VLC and uh, it looks like a normal video player has the the playlist uh, option enabled but if you if you disable that or if you contract it it'll look like just your normal Mac OS 10 player and uh, but you can expand this in order to add things to your playlist now I'm gonna keep it like this one of the new things is that they have a live search of your playlist so if you make a a long playlist and you want to jump right to something you can just start typing and uh, you can do that but essentially I'm just gonna drag and drop media to this window to start playing it I have a couple videos up here prepared and I'm just going to uh, start those real quick hopefully it won't uh, skip too much because I'm recording this video as well as showing you video <laughs> So it might be kind of a slideshow, it might be kind of loud. So that's a little bleach for you. I'm gonna go ahead and pause that. Also, I got another video here. Yeah, there we go. And this is another video that's playing right in VLC. And these are videos that I downloaded from the web. And uh, they, they come in all shapes and sizes and formats, but VLC you know like I said it plays pretty much everything right out of the box and I also have I'm gonna go ahead and close that I also have a, a music file here turn it down a little bit and I can go and view media info by going to the window menu media information and uh, it will automatically download the uh, the album art this one it got completely wrong but uh, I can I can manually fix that if I need to gives you the codec details you can expand it this is a uh, uh, this is a AAC MPEG4 file and statistics so that's just an overview of how to play files in here now let me show you a couple cool things before I let you go and uh, let's see I'm gonna start that bleach video again. I'm gonna get to some action here. Skip ahead a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I'm gonna go to extended controls here. You got. I gotta rewind that. You have got to see that part. Oh my gosh. I couldn't believe when I first saw it. 
<laughs> here we go, here we go. Okay. Just 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 listen for the voice in the background. Oh my gosh, that is actually his voice. But while while that is playing, I can go over to his extended controls and do some video filters and have some fun. For example, I can put a ripple effect. See the, the video is now rippling. Um, I can do a psychedelic effect if I want to watch this with uh, some some quite weird stuff going on with the video zooming in and out and colors going on. I, I like to call it the seizure effect, if you will. I can put a gradient on it. So these are just fun little things you can do with your videos. There's a blur effect. They're not moving much now, but uh, when they do, you can see kind of a blur when they move around. I think an action scene is coming up here. Yeah, so it's a little blurry. And uh, there's also an interactive zoom, which I think is kind of cool. It's a little choppy on here before. Here we go. And it has a little window in the top left where you can zoom in on certain parts of the video just by clicking on an area. And it zooms in. I'll zoom in on his mouth. <laughs> and I'll zoom in on the eye and his head. And the eye again. And his eye. But anyway, these are just some of the effects. You have video effects, you have audio effects, and also image effects that you can adjust. Uh, you can adjust the hue, contrast. So, Video Land is very powerful. Long story short, it, you can do a lot with this tool. I haven't scratched the surface on half of the things that you can do with it. Um, I mean, it is a, it's a streaming client by, you know, by birth, but the way I knew it was from the video streaming server. I mean, Video Land server, and there was a Video Land client, and then you could stream video over your LAN, you know, from a server to this client. So it was an it was a it was a natural streaming solution. So there's some some very advanced features you can do with this, in terms of streaming video out to the web or to your LAN, and doing all those things. So I highly encourage you to go over to VideoLand.org to get some uh, some more information. Now the last feature I want to show you is one of my favorite and uh, YouTube is a very popular site so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this URL video land now supports opening YouTube in daily motion URLs and you can script it to where it'll automatically open it but for here I'm just gonna go to open network and then put the URL here press OK it recognizes that URL gets the title and then it begins to play the YouTube video. You can play YouTube videos right from Video Land. Isn't that cool? <laughs> so that's some of the features that you can do with Video Land and uh, just scratch the surface. Like I said, there's so much more that you can do. All right, this is Buona from Buona.tv and I hope you enjoyed the LC player or Video Land client. I, I have to look up the names again. They're probably going to kill me for messing it up. I think it's VLC Media Player. Yeah, VLC Media Player.